Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson realtor. This is tour time with Tyler and welcome to this new listing. Let's check it out. But again, before we do, right there is the link for my resale app. Up above is the link for my new construction website. You could go to either one of those links or scan the QR code with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to them. Completely free to use. Let's check it out. So pretty neat home we're going to be looking at today. Don't forget. We are doing those once a week Amazon gift cards. And when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing either one iPad Air or two regular iPad giveaways. Now, this is a resale today. I know I always say it, but if you're thinking about buying new, you wanna buy new, you are considering buying a new home. Call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you fill out information online or go to the models in person. I have to go with you the first time and I need to call on your behalf. Otherwise, you're gonna work directly with the sales associates and they don't represent you. They actually represent the builder. They're just there to facilitate the transaction. So if you want representation, give me a call. All my info is down below. I'm gonna give us a quick spin and talk about where we are today. First, we are in Henderson. More importantly, we are in Anthem Country Club. This is a country club community. This is a guard gated community. They make it tough to get in here, trust me. <laughs> As an agent, I have a hard time sometimes. Right here, it is uh 289 dollars a month now you can have the whole club access there's even the clubhouse the gym all of that you can whip around in here on golf carts if you want to people do that you can join the social club the golfing club all of that good stuff but today we are going to be looking at a four bedroom two and a half bath two car garage home it is 2678 square feet it is currently on the market at one million $49,000. How cool is this entry? Pretty neat. Now again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out with the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to subscribe and stay up to date for future videos. I'm trying to post just about every single day right now. So coming on in. Now, this has been completely redone. I love it. I absolutely love it. So we have this big rotunda right here. And I promise you, wait till we see the kitchen. I promise you, promise you, it's incredible. But let's head down the front first. Right here we have our powder room. So the flooring has all been redone. We have, ooh, another fancy toilet. Comment down below, have you ever used a bidet? I never have, I'm a little afraid to. I think it even has a heating feature, so pretty neat. We have a floating vanity. Ooh, I didn't even do it. Cool. So backlit mirror, pretty neat first bathroom. Again, you can see how big this rotunda area is. If we keep on spinning right here, we get to, I believe our coat closet, yep. And these ceilings are 10 feet high and eight foot doors. So it makes the house feel even bigger. It feels much, much bigger, probably like over 3000 square feet. This is neat when we get to it. But first off, we hit our first bedroom. They have shutters everywhere on all the windows. It's a good size room. It's probably like 12 by 12 if I had to guess. Um, it's not the biggest room, but it's definitely not the smallest. You could get a full size bed, the nightstand, maybe a small desk in here and the dresser. We have our three door closet and even this really cool fan. I promise you, the rooms are bigger when you put furniture in it. It's just the perspective with the camera and everything else. And I'm gonna apologize for the echo. There's just no furniture or artwork on the walls to soak up anything. Right here, we have our linen closet. And then how cool is this area? I'm just gonna step back and show you everything. We have a little wine area. We have even a butcher block top with all the drawers and cabinets. And then if we spend, actually I'll save the bathroom and we'll come back to it. If we come down, we have all of these windows. This is that center entryway and into the second bedroom. Now this bedroom is a little bit bigger even. You can tell, I wish there was can lighting in this room. It's a little dim in the corners. You might just need to change out the light bulb, but you're gonna need probably a lamp in here at night. You can even hear the echo in here. It's a bigger room than that first one, a little bit smaller of a closet. Right here is the street. So coming on out, that's a nice size bedroom. Third bedroom. Probably even just a little bit bigger than that first bedroom. Maybe the same size, maybe a little bit smaller than that one we were just in. So that first bedroom is definitely the smallest. Again, you get everything in here if you need to. Three, or uh, we have our blinds 
and we have our three door closet. Coming on out, we get, so we have our wine area and then we have our shared bathroom. So these are nice. Let's see, are they soft? They feel like just bumpers, but yeah, just bumper cabinets. Really cool white with gray vein. It looks like quartz. We have our undermounted sinks. Ooh, I just ran in to turn on all the lights. Oh, hmm. Maybe it just needs to be plugged in or something. We have our toilet. Again, we have our fancy toilet and I'm in love, love with this shower. So tiled everywhere, floor to ceiling. We have our, <laughs> I don't even call that a soap niche. That's huge. We have our shower head and we have our valve and you can see they tile all the way with the glass enclosure. Really nice bathroom. Let's go ahead and head on into the primary before we get to see this amazing kitchen. I promise you, promise you, promise you stick around for it. Now, I believe this is a fireplace. I don't know. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on and I don't feel like breaking a fireplace in a million dollar home, a million plus dollar home. So I left it alone, but really cool design element and coming on into the bedroom. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please give me a call. All my info is down below. This room is massive. It's huge. It's bigger than some living rooms I've been in. One little complaint, this room is so big, you're going to need extra lighting. You're going to want to either get some lamps or potentially even get some can lighting in here because it is huge. You can put the master bed, or the king size bed, the nightstands, the sitting area. It's really, really big. Again, you could hear the echo in here. And then you even have direct access right on out to the backyard. You have a slider there, you have a slider there. That's a big slider. But coming on into the bathroom, so, primary bathroom, ooh, ooh, by light. We have separate vanities. So first vanity, we have all the drawers, the cabinet, even the makeup area, undermounted sink. That is a huge mirror. These are not cheap either because there's even a defrost button and the light. We have our freestanding tub. We have our water filler and we have our wand. And then again, let's see if there's a glare. Awesome, awesome shower, huge soap niche. They tiled, oh my goodness. They tiled the whole entire wall. So they tiled from here all the way around. Every part of that wall is tiled. Pretty cool. We turn, we have our next fancy toilet. And again, it has a bidet. It has the seat warmer on it. Spinning around, we get to the second vanity. And again, it is a fancy vanity with the light and the a defrost in it, same exact cabinets, same exact undermounted sink, and then on into our closet. And look at this. <laughs> it's all done up. It's really nice. And it's pretty good size. You have drawers oh, all over the place. You have hanging shelves and it, all everything you need. So let's go ahead and check out this kitchen. I know I've been making you wait. It's incredible. I promise you, promise you, promise you. If you've been staying around, you are not going to be disappointed. So it's so open down here. We have our dining area, a little buffet area. We have this huge living room area. Again, they already have all the pre-wires for your TV. I wish I could turn that on because that would be so cool to see. And then check this out. Ooh, it is so neat. You have a little breakfast nook area. We'll go in the garage, I promise you. But this has some of the features I've never seen before in houses. I've seen them on other shows and stuff like, but this right here in the island has a functional a cordless charger in it. How cool is that? So we have all of these lowers. You have waterfall edge on both sides. I don't know if people would actually put the um, bar stools up against it. You could. You really don't need to, but let's come on over here. You have all these lowers. You have the 40 inch uppers with the double uppers in above. They took the same stone and ran it up the backsplash. There are so many outlets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven outlets in the backsplash. Ooh, that is nice for all of the extra little goodies, the other appliances that you use on the countertop. Stainless steel dishwasher, stainless steel undermounted sink. I really like the brass looking fixtures on it. If you don't know what this is, this is for reverse osmosis. So it's basically bottled water that comes out. Here's your view and I'll spin too. So laundry room over here with our garage, 
you could see basically everyone from just a quick spin. The TV, that would be hard to see, but it is so open in here. We spin back around. Right here you have all of your pot and pan drawers. And if you don't know what those are, they're basically to replace cabinets. So then that way you can put all the pots and pans in here and not have to dig around. These are usually, yep, soft clothes. You even have a trash can right there. So we can pull it out. Oh, I see. Sometimes it pulls out and then it helps when you're not holding the camera. Spinning directly around. Look at our amazing oven, six burner uh, cooktop. We have our big vent hood. There is so much storage in here. It's incredible, this kitchen. Awesome, awesome kitchen. We have a Lazy Susan, we have our microwave, and then we have a four door Samsung refrigerator. I guess technically there's no real pantry per se, but you do have all of that storage in there too. So no walk-in pantry, but there's so much cabinet space in here. You almost don't even need one. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Do you wish there was a walk-in pantry or will this amount of storage suffice? But right here we get to our laundry room. So we have a little area, I guess you could even put a wine fridge in there if you wanted to. Bunch of drawers, butcher block, countertop, even shutters in here. We'll go check out the garage, I promise you, and then check out our laundry area. Ooh, really, really nice butcher block folding area. We even have some uppers. And then we have our two car garage. So it has been treated on the floor. There's so much storage up above. I'm gonna be honest, it might be a little tight in here with two cars. Now you do have three feet on each side, but with this amount of storage, it might get a little tight. And then we even have extra room over there. We have our water softener. If you don't know, the water out here is very hard. So it's always nice to have a little workshop area. Let's go check out that backyard because there's even some neat features in the backyard. So again, let me know what you're thinking about this one so far. Is this the style of home you're looking for? Do you want me to do more tours like this with the resales that look like this that have been updated? Let me know. So we're gonna come out right here. Now you have this covered patio. If you don't know what these are, these are actually heaters. And last night, it was freezing. <laughs> and I know I grew up in LA and San Diego. San Diego would get into the 50s all the time. Sometimes that would be the high. But last night it was 54 degrees in Henderson, which was very chilly. So it is getting into that colder weather, which would be really nice to have those heaters. Massive backyard for out here. You could easily put the pool, the spa, the heater. Really, really neat home. They even, I don't know if you can see, have lights hung up all the way around the back. Here's how you control the heater. All in all, fantastic home. Just a couple things that I would wanna change or add, like the can lighting, but other than that, and figure out how to use that. Those two things, <laughs> it's really cool. I wanna see that in action. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this home or any other home, please, please, please give me a call, whether it's new, resale, anything in between. Love to hear from you and love to help you out in any way possible. Again, do me that huge favor, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.